We're going to dye a silk scarf today. Well, it's a silk and rayon scarf. But um, I thought first I'd share with you a little trick that helps me. When I'm laying, when I'm dyeing, when you're trying to lay glad wrap or cling wrap or plastic wrap down to do your dyeing on, it, it, it's really hard, it doesn't stick very well. So I wipe mine down. This is a damp cloth, wet cloth, and I just wet it down, wipe it down, and then you'll find that the cling wrap or the glad wrap or pallet wrap will stick on the surface much better and um, not fluff up with the air and make it hard for you to put your lay out your fibre, your yarn or whatever you're dyeing on there. So, okay, I'll be back with my scarf. Okay, so this is the scarf I'm dyeing. It's actually a, um, a I don't know if you can see the design, it's a paisley design and the, the paisley is the silk and that is a like a silk velveteen on it so um, and the fringe is silk actually this fringe might be rayon but the backing of it is a rayon material so both of those materials dye with the earth palette cotton dyes so I've had the this scarf because it's silk I don't want to soak it too long so I've had it soaking for about half an hour and I'll just try and lay out the fringing so that I can dye it neatly. I think I should have made a bit more palette wrap here. Anyway, we'll make it work for us. Okay. So my colours, I've got colours left over from a previous, my previous dye session, but I have made more yellow because I was nearly out of yellow. I've got the purple and the black. So from the previous one, I've got a little bit of brilliant red and yellow. And I'm actually just going to add those together to make an orange. And then I'm also going to, no, I won't make another colour. I'll just leave that. But I will add a bit more yellow in there. So we've got a more of an orange. And then what I'm going to do to dye this, I'm just going to put the dye on and let it soak through. What I've done is when I've laid this out, I've actually doubled it. So both sides will dye the same. So you just need to be careful at the end that you don't put a line in it. So I'm just going to drip the, do a spoonful of dye, sort of like tie dyeing without the ties on it. And do a little bit of the fringing in the yellow. Make sure that gets a nice yellowy colour. Don't forget the edges and make a nice colouring there. I think that'll do for now. We can touch it up. Then I'm going to use my orangey colour that just had a piece of hair fell or a piece of fibre fell in it on it. So I'm going to put that between the yellows. Now I thought I'd make this, I've got a, um, a relative that's got a birthday coming up soon so I thought I'll dye them a scarf and make a video of it. Then they can watch to see how I made it. Right. The same with the purple. I'm going to put that probably in the middle here. I've got no set design in mind. I'm just putting it wherever I feel like putting it. Don't pour too, I don't want to pour too much on here because it will otherwise it'll just overwhelm the design and make too much a browny puddly color instead of having the colors all distinct. In fact, I quite like that color. I might make more of it here. And instead of doing circles, I'll do, yes. I don't want to have too much of the yellow and black to get, uh, yellow and purple together because that is making a colour that's more of a browny sort of colour there. So I don't want to do too much of that. And I don't want to do too much black on this either. Right, okay. 
So a little bit of black and then we'll see. I know when the black touches these colours it will make um, just a darker orange so that'll be alright. Put some black on the fringing. Might even do two bits of that. A tiny bit here too. So a lot of that colour will seep through where you can see the white. As you can see, my dyeing is all very scientific and technical. Feel free to copy it. Pretty good fun actually. Need a bit more there, a bit more in them ones. I think we need a bit more purple in there. Well, I think we do. Okay, so we'll add a bit more purple. The purple and black together will be good. They'll only make a slightly different shade of purple. But I know that these colours will sort of move a little bit and um, I don't want them to make a total brownie colour. Mm. Fringing needs a bit more there. How are we looking now? And I know this will soak through to the other side. Well, nearly missed it. How's that looking? I'm tempted to put some there. How is that going to look? Oh, that's going to look all right. That colour's not too bad. We might do a bit more of that one, huh? Along here. It's a nice shade in the mint there. I do believe purple is my favourite colour. This is more of a red purple, which I would call rubine, actually. How are we looking? We need a bit more there to separate those colours. A bit more in there. How's that looking? Put a bit here just to tone it down a bit because the yellow and the orange are pretty bright. And then I think I might just stop there. All right, we don't want to overdo it. So on the top of this, I'm going to do another layer of bubble of palette wrap because I haven't got enough to fold it over. Hang on a minute, we'll start at the end. And I think I'm just going to leave it sitting there. It's, it needs to be covered, so you need to make sure it's covered so that the dyes remain damp. And that is one of the jobs that the urea will do. The urea will, is a um, humectant, so it will actually help to keep the material wet. So if you're dyeing things like this, you need them to stay wet while the dye sets. It won't need to be heat set, it'll set on its own. So we'll come back tomorrow. If I was going to move it, I would start at this end. In fact, I might even do that. I would roll it up like this and then turn it around and leave it to set like that overnight. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks tomorrow when I've rinsed it out. Okay, so this is the scarf we dyed. It's been sitting all night. And I'll unwrap it. As you can see, the colours have all blended in together a bit, but they're still basically where we put them.
So let's see how much. Still a bit of colour in it, but not a lot. But we'll give it a rinse. As you can see, both sides have died. And we haven't got a line in the middle, so that's a good thing. We'll give it a rinse, let it dry, and come back and have another look. Okay, so we're back. This is our scarf that we dyed. As you can see, the colours have sort of migrated or diluted a bit. Sorry, sorry that's my little dog, Charlotte. She's walking over something. And um, this is the fringing on it. So I don't know if you can see on here, it's like a velvety raised surface on it, which is the silk. And then, of course, the rayon background back uh, surface. So hopefully they'll be happy with their scarf. Uh, thanks for joining me. I will see you next time.